Commander, I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Tell me what the Geth want. Why are they attacking you? I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. Thorian? What is that exactly? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. Tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I'm supposed to be their leader. These people trust me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. I won't. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Welcome back to another Mass Effect video. It is your boy, Daddy Mac. And if you missed the last video, make sure you go by and take a look. Watch it. It's a very important episode for those of you who are keeping up with the series. It's been a really fun series. All right. We just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it... Kila. What is that? That does not look like any plan I've ever seen. This may be problematic. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren, something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. Give me what I need, and I'll strike back at the one who betrayed you. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground. As I was saying, last episode was a very important episode, so if you have not, make sure you check it out. We gotta equip some shotguns here. Equip some shotguns. I gotta equip my thunder, which I already have, and I don't know what happened to my controller there. There you go. That's why we have the shotgun equipped on. 
whoever that was. Ashley came in clutch with that kill. Oh, there's another one right here. Oh, we gotta get rid of that that Thorian node here. Otherwise, it'll keep generating, as I mentioned. Okay, I think that Tali is also good with shotguns, so we'll just put shotguns on them and keep it moving. Why is it blocked? Oh, you were down. That's why you were blocked. I didn't even notice. Okay. That got its attention. Has to be more of those around. Definitely do. Okay, so before we move on, we're gonna swip her, swap her, not swip. We're gonna swap her with the tornado and the striker, because that's really what she specializes on. Does she have healing yet? I don't think she has healing quite yet, so we're just gonna keep it moving. So the Thorian, yeah, that's a very interesting one. We learned about the Thorians the last time around. And that's ultimately why it's a very important episode. I want to be careful with these. Okay. We're not alone. Obviously, there's some creepers going on. I, I'll get rid of the Asari Clone. Get rid of the Thorian. Headshots only, headshots only. There you go. Oh, that was clutch. There you go. Don't let these things get to you. Oh. Oh, does she? Okay, I think she's down. The, the Asari clone. I'm pretty sure if you guys have been paying attention to the series, you know who that Asari clone is. Also another important character to what's to come. Some more Thorian creepers and we don't got grenades because we used them all on the colonists the last episode. Watch it, watch it. There you go. Get rid of them all. Good stuff. Look, look. <laughs> Just getting rid of him with the thunder. I love it. Look, here's more. Get rid of it. There you go. Yeah. Don't let this thing produce anymore. I'm gonna get rid of the node. And there's obviously some more. And they're they're actually upstairs. That's why you saw the bullets right above us. So, oh look, here's the Asari clone. Okay, Thali is down. We should be able to get rid of the clone here in just a second. She's a pain. Powering up. Get rid of it. Warm up. Come back at me. Don't let this Asari clone get kill you. Is she down? She's not down yet. Okay, she is now. There you go. Obviously some more. Should probably revive Vitaly losing Unity. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Just a scratch. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna double check really quick because I really do think Tally, yeah, she benefits from shotguns, and we're just gonna do that. Some more creepers. I don't like these things to begin with. There you go. Get rid of them. It's really easy to get overwhelmed with these things right here. Watch it, watch it, watch it, Tally. Okay. Okay, here's what we've got to do. We've got to use overkill. There you go. Just get rid of them all. Easy kills. Kind of. Get rid of that one. There you go. Oof, those things can be a pain. The, the creepers, these little guys right here. Oh, shoot. Get rid of her. There you go. Good stuff, Ashley. She came to clutch a lot. Look at that. She's just getting rid of them all. Make it look easy and stuff. Don't let it get to you, Ash. There you go. Oh. There you go. That's what we do. 
get rid of these Thorians. I got unity again. Yes, I do. Good, Commander. Yeah, we definitely need some med gels, and that's yeah. We got three med gels. I guess we don't really need med gels. Yeah, which way do we go? Look at this thing. The Thorian, very important aspect to the story, and we're just getting started here. Finally some action, is that what she said? There you go. Just blow him up. Okay. There you go. Ashley comes in clutch. Yeah, gotta get rid of this thing next. For now. Cover me. Boom. You get rid of it. Get rid of the creepers. Oh, behind us? Upstairs. Yeah, gotta watch our six. Obviously, there's some more creepers. Look, here's the Asari lady. Okay, obviously, shield her down. That was a uh, useless adrenaline burst. What does this do? Oh, that was easy. Watch the creepers. Watch the creepers. Maybe I gotta equip my shotgun. Where's my shotgun? Firestorm. There you go. That's what we gotta do. We just gotta shoot him with shotguns, I guess. And the other one's over here. Let's knock him down. Can't get up. There you go. Yeah, I think we gotta use shotguns. That's what we gotta do. Perimeter secured. And the other one, the node, should be right here. Okay, this thing actually does some damage. We're on the right track. Oh, I don't know why she scared me. Yeah, here we go. Some more creepers here. This part's gonna get ugly. Yeah. Yep, this is exactly why I said it was gonna get ugly. Watch your six. There you go. Overheated. Punch it. There you go. That's what we do best. There you go. <laughs> Cheesing it. Just like we do the Geth. Love it. Loving every second of this. Oh, I guess I can't spam. Things just threw up on us. Watch it, Ash. Bro, don't let them throw up on you. Here's another one, just... There you go. Here's another one. Headshots only. That will knock him down. There you go. There you go! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this is sick. Not even gonna lie. Just watch him blow up. I think we need to do something with Tally's stats. She goes down too much. Yeah. Deployed. Squad needs a metagel. Obviously, there's gonna be some more of these. Get rid of it. There you go. Yeah. I think this is a good spot for us to equip the thunder and just shoot. And rely on my mates to really cover my six here. There you go. Yeah, switch weapons. Gotta knock these things down. There you go. There you go. Teamwork, baby. Let's go. There's another one. Yeah. Just get rid of them. Let her get rid of those. There you go. Boom. Get out of here, bro. We're just blasting them. This is super fun, not even gonna lie. There you go, that one's down too.
I... I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. How did you end up inside that... thing? My name is Shiala. I serve... I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need the Cypher. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. I have given you the Cypher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. Are you all right, Shepard? What'd she do? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. You look a little queasy. We should get you back to the ship. I am sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the Beacon. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. 
but I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed, thank you. Just give me my credits and I'll be on my way. You bet. Thanks for all your help, Commander. And as you noticed on the previous episode, we did a couple of side quests here. We killed this person here who was responsible for the jet fuel or whatever, the power cells. She's dead. Can't deliver the power cells, I think. Finally, that damn thing is out of my head. I can think without pain. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here. Fidan gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. Now if I can oh. these power cells into place, so that's where the power cells go. No Whoever that girl was that was over there on the previous episode, that's who I killed because I ran out of, uh, you know, grenades and stuff like that. Should these colonists be alive? She's gone. We've lost everything, and Greta has gone. So I, I, I killed her. Right I'm sorry. I'm really sorry I killed her. I didn't mean to. I really didn't. I uh, actually ran out of the gosh darn grenades. Oh, no, I was thinking of... I did kill this lady, didn't I? Oh my gosh, I feel really bad. I'm free. Thank you for giving me my mind back. You're welcome. Thank you for everything you tried to do here. You're welcome. Cost us some casualties. But that's what we do best. So that was the Thorian. That's the name of this episode. Now, it was a very short one. Very short quest. But this gives us an opportunity to catch up on some of our own side quests. Get some credits, upgrade our gear, things of that nature. So that's what the episode is also going to be tied with. So I hope that you learned a lot about the Thorian. As I mentioned, it's a very important piece of uh, mass effect and we're only at the beginning there's another quest a main mission that's going to be a very important part of the mission commander you look pale are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher i just need some time to let this cipher do its thing i might be able to help you i am an expert on the protheans if i join my consciousness to yours maybe we can make some sense of it do it Hurry, we don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! That was... incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What did you see? 
The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. You must have seen something. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision, what was there at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogenia should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. I never jeopardized the mission. That's good, Commander. Stopping Saren is your primary goal. Everything else is secondary. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Hey, Skipper. Any interest in a small drink? It's a special occasion. What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. I should have figured this out myself. I don't know how I can help you, though. Look at who I am, Shepard. Do you ever hear me ask for help? It's not that bad things don't happen to me. If you stay with me long enough, maybe I'll tell you about some of them. But I deal with them myself. I don't need a shoulder to cry on, a knight to rescue me, or a man to make me happy. This is who I am. I like her. And you better like her, too. So, you still interested in me? Baggage and all? Everyone comes with baggage, Ash. The trick is finding a matched set. <laughs> That's awful. Tell me you got that out of a fortune cookie. But hey, once we save the galaxy, maybe the Alliance will get its act together. Start acting like an actual government. If not, we'll convince them. One way or the other, the Alliance is going to play a role in the Council. I have a feeling things will come to a head soon. But don't worry, Shepard. I'll protect you. We'll talk later, Williams. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Is it the Ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the Council. I'll patch it through to the comm room. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. What kind of information? We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. I'm listening. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. 
We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. That's actually part of the main mission. So we're going to go into Vermeer a little bit later, maybe on another episode. Because it's a very good episode and a very important one. So what we're going to go ahead and do, we're just going to get out of here and then explore everything else. Have we been here before? Is this where... Oh shoot! I was about to say, have I been here before? Obviously I've not. I was not expecting for any of these husks. Bro, get away from me. Okay, yeah, we obviously don't gotta worry about any survivors. Oh, there you go, Rex. Jeez, that was a little too close for comfort. Look, here's some more husk. Oh, who did that? Get rid of them. There's too many. Too many. Oh man, I hate Hus for this very reason. Look, there you go, Rex. Great job. Yeah. Shield boost? You don't got shield boost. Okay. That was uh, very, very, and I mean very unexpected. Yeah, this is gonna be a little maze for us to get through. And who knows how much more of these uh, creatures are left. Look, here's another husk. Right there, husk. Watch it, rest. I kinda covered him, not really. Oh my goodness gracious, watch yourselves. Get rid of it. Get rid of it, Rex. Come on. Ashley was a lot better at this than you were. Okay, there goes uh, Garrus. Get back, get back, get back. Okay, gotta switch weapons. Where is it? Is that all of them? Garrus, can you get up? Ooh, we're getting way too close for comfort. There's probably gonna be some more husk too. We don't we got one grenade. Okay. Yeah, I'll throw this high explosive here in just a moment. Like right now, for example. Oh that decimated it. Yeah, there you go. Just get rid of them. That's it. Don't let these things get anywhere near us. Headshots only. There you go. Okay. I got a feeling there's a lot more where that came from. There you go. Look. Watch yourselves. Yeah, have fun trying to get us. There's another couple of husks here. We're glitched, so... Oh! Bro! That thing did a lot of melee damage. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, we got super lucky. Unity, anybody? Okay, there you go. Got half on everybody. This is way too close for comfort. I mean, how much more of these husks are there left? I was super quiet at the beginning of this little part here because... Oh, shoot. Where? Get rid of them. Get rid of them all. This is why it's important to save your grenades, folks. Thank you. 
get rid of the last two while my gun pull down. Yeah. Another one. Watch it. Golly, man. That was another close call for us. Bro, did you just shoot at me? Ah. Okay. There's got to be at least another wave or two. Check the corner just in case. That looks like that's everybody. Okay. Let's see what's at the cockpit. Yep, this is where, uh, where they all met their fate. Whew, that was intense for a second there. There was like three close calls where we could have just died there. I'm really glad we didn't. Easy money here. Yeah. Gentlemen, excuse me. According to the log files, the ship was out near the Perseus Veil. Vale. Looks like they found some kind of alien artifact. They brought it on board and then... This doesn't make any sense. They plotted a course straight into the Perseus Veil, vale, like they wanted the Geth to find them. That artifact must have done something to them. Why else would someone fly into Geth space? The entries don't make a lot of sense after that. It's like the captain's mind was falling apart. Doesn't say anything about how the ship got back into human territory. The Geth turned them into husks and left the ship where someone would find it. Trying to show us what happens to organics dumb enough to enter the veil. Yeah, that's uh That's pretty cruel. The Geth are very cruel creatures if you think about it. The fact that they can turn organics into husk is pretty dang brutal. It makes you wonder. Are husk actually zombies? Like, if you think about it, do they have control of their bodies? Can they feel what's going on? Do they really die? The world may never know. I think this is the end, right? Where did we come from? Yeah, we came from this way. I am a dummy. Okay, I think we got one more side mission, and then we'll call it an episode. Looks like we've got an active distress beacon on the planet below, Commander. No message, just a locator signal. got a distress beacon you know what that means probably yeah they're pirates there's a lot of red dots though so let's see what exactly is going on here this is actually not one of the side missions I was targeting oh they're Thorian they're creepers is, are there still Thorians out here yeah can we go in here? No. Can't. Um, can I move, please? Yeah. This actually is right on par with the Thorian section. Look, we'll do the anomaly first. Let's get rid of these Thorians over here. Then we'll hit up the anomaly, which is probably a mantis thing. There you go. Oh, you guys are cute thinking you can just do something to me. Golly, that was a lot. Just There you go. What's over here? Moving out. Can we get something good? Hard and great. Easy. These things are not a challenge anymore. Oh. I was just saying they weren't challenging. There you go. 24,000 credits. I don't know if that's a lot, but we're about to get more by mining this thing over here. I hope it's not too far up. It's on top of the mountain, isn't it? Of course it is. They gotta put these deposits in such hard to reach locations. Look at this. Can't get up there. This planet actually looks kind of standard 
to all the other planets we've visited recently. Where is this damn deposit? Oh, don't fall off. Uh, I'm about to... Can I back up? Can I back up? Yep, I can back up. There you go. Uh, can I back up? Don't, 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 don't. Is it worth getting that deposit at this point? Oh my gosh. Don't let it, don't let it, don't let it fall. There you go. Nope, that made things a lot worse. We just compounded our issue here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say that deposit's not worth it. Oh, bro, come on. Hello, can we get some assistance? Oh my gosh, we're looking really silly right now. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's what we're looking for. And it's a gold deposit, so it was very well worth it. We landed right on top of it. Hooray. Golly, have you guys ever played that game, Hill Run? Or what is that game called where it's like uh, you gotta drive a truck or something like that, and you got you gotta get points by diving into the whatever, and you gotta ramp really high and take off. Maybe we just get that thing already. I mean, it's probably on top of this mountain too. Oh my goodness, what is? Why would the developers make this? Why would they make it this hard for you to? Climb all these things. We might as well just get that debris or whatever it is. Yeah, look at this. Oh, no. We just absolutely failed. Okay, finally made it. Can we ramp off? Yes, we totally can. Okay, that's what that sees for. That's pretty dang sweet. Not even gonna lie. It makes it easier going down the mountain. I wish it helped going up the mountain. What even is over here? There's gotta be something, right? What is over here? Scaling those mountain tops? No joke. This is legit least favorite mountain. Least favorite planet that we've traversed through. All this just to get to these dang Thorians. It's okay though, we'll blow them up. Make things a lot easier for us. Right here in the middle? Gotta get both. There you go. Okay. Now we finally get to go in and see what's going on over here. <sighs> okay. Probably gonna be some more Thorians. I would not. I wouldn't. Um, rule it out of question. You can see some red dots. You can see the Thorian thing right here. Okay. Look at this. Ashley, you got your shotgun? I hope. There you go. Okay, so you got the raptor, you got the shotgun. Okay, we're good. We got the perfect combination. Bro, are you covering me? You just let that one vomit all over me? Bro, get away from me. Come on, Ash. Can we get some teamwork going? Jesus. A lot of Thorian creepers around here. There you go. That's all of them. They sound like zombies. Have you guys ever played House of the Death Dead? That's what that kind of reminded me of for a moment. Let's see what this beacon is. Can I go this way? I can't go this way. There's got to be someone here. That body. There's probably actually nobody here. <laughs> I'm willing to bet. Slash canister. Yo, did I just... Okay. That's what happened to me. Do you guys remember I was talking about that in the previous episode where in the PS5 I got glitched? Literally, that's what happened to me and I had to restart everything. I was pretty dang upset about it, too. Rescuers? Oh, thank God. See? I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal. My name is Dr. Ross. Chief Exogeny Researcher at this facility. We've been trapped in this room for days. We're almost out of food and water. You got here just in time. Not so fast. First you're gonna tell me why this place is overrun with Thorian creepers. How do you know about the Thorian? 
I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists, so I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. You already know the worst. The Creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Then all the Creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. Any chance some of the other people at the base might still be alive? Hmm, I doubt it. Too many Creepers out there. They never stood a chance. We're the only ones left. Any idea why they turned on you? Maybe there was still some kind of link between the Creepers and the Thorian back on Pharos. The Thorian was unlike any other life form we've ever studied. I can't explain how, but maybe when it died, it, it somehow set off the Creepers here. Any chance some of the other people at the base might still be alive? Hmm, I doubt it. Too many Creepers out there. They never stood a chance. We're the only ones left. Why didn't you send a clear message asking for help? All we had was that signal from the emergency beacon. This is a closed communications base. Exogeny was worried about someone on the project selling secrets to a rival firm or reporting our work to the authorities. We have no direct communication with the outside, only the emergency beacon. It sends a general distress signal to the Exogeny site on Pharos. They're supposed to send a team to respond inside of 24 hours, but it sounds like they had problems of their own. I've heard all I need to. Look, I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that. But it's over now. There's no sense reporting this to the authorities, right? Too many people died here. Their blood is on your hands. Be reasonable. I didn't mean for this to happen. Besides, how does it help anyone if I end up in jail? Normally Exogeny would have my back, but it sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. This isn't about money. It's about justice. Blood for blood. Uh, that's not going to happen. Open fire. Open fire! Boom. Headshot. There you go. Another headshot. Go, go, go! Yeah, she was the first one to die. <laughs> that was actually kind of legit, not even gonna lie. Those mercenaries are getting annoying. Boom, there you go. Got one more mercenary. Oh, we can flank them. Go over there. There you go. Exogeny's second rate merc. Mercs. Proved no match for a trained Alliance Marine. With the last of the science screw dead, there's no reason to linger here. Didn't need your money, lady. Honestly, I'm trying to play this based That's off it. of my beliefs. Of I would not have taken a bribe in real life, considering everything that they've done. Not acceptable. Um, am I missing something? There was a wetware kit? Where at? Containment cell? Oh, there it is. Probably don't even need this. But yeah, that's, um, I think that's a good way to close the episode. More, um, more Exogeny stuff and the Thorian. If you guys enjoyed this episode, leave a like. I know this is a little bit different than your standard closing, but yeah, it was super fun. We're going to pick up where we left off. We're going to do a main mission on this next one, on this next episode, and go from here. So more exciting stuff to come. We'll see you guys later. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? And a sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago, Lady Benezia. What sort of problems are there at Peak 15? Don't know. There's a blizzard up there, but we've had those before. Never cut the satellite uplinks before. 15's always had a lousy reputation. Nobody talks about what they do there. And everyone sent up comes back a little quieter. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. No, I'm not. Are you?
What was that? Animals, wind, and 